going on guys? Joe here from Health for Thought. So first of all, I want to thank you guys so much for checking out my one year transformation video, the last video that I posted and I got a lot of awesome questions. The most often asked question that I got on the video was just to basically summarize the past year since I kind of just posted the video and showed you my progress but didn't really get into any details. I started in December of last year, so December 2013, I kind of restarted lifting again. I had been on tour for the past year and a half to two years before that. I want to say it was about more towards a year and a half. And I didn't touch weights. I actually went to the East Coast and I was playing out there and I was only doing hit cardio. I just kind of wanted to like keep in shape, but my back started hurting me and I just kind of didn't really have anywhere to lift really and all my time was devoted to drums at that point so I would sneak away you know from the studio or whatever we were doing and do a lot of high intensity interval training on this bike that was actually just across the street um, on this little it was kind of a shitty little uh, you know stationary bike but anyways it worked um, so I, I did that and then eventually that tailed off and then I came back to the west coast and uh, toured with a band out here and went cross country there and I didn't lift at all. Um, once again, I was always just, my mind was constantly on music at the time and um, just being the best drummer I could be. So I kind of had fitness go to the wayside. And obviously you guys saw the final result at the beginning of my last video where I was at 185, which at the time I hadn't been down to that weight in, in quite a while. Um, but it wasn't a, a great 185. Um, I definitely wasn't shredded by any means and wasn't carrying a lot of muscle mass. So I got back into it with a vengeance, so to speak, and uh, I was very consistent. I had it on my mind that I was going to do this. And honestly, I cannot think of any point in time where I felt like, you know, I'm slacking a little bit and I need to kind of give my, myself a kick in the ass. Um, so I will say that I was completely consistent all the way throughout. Um, as far as training frequency, right when I started, up until about June, I was working out six days a week, no matter what. Uh, I would start on Monday with legs, and I would always, at the beginning, do squats and deads right away, because that's were the two main exercises I wanted to focus on this time around, because I never gave those enough attention. And to start, it wasn't pretty. Like, I was not lifting that much weight, and still, to this day, I really don't go... I go heavy, don't get me wrong, but it's heavy heavy for lifting with a time under tension mindset is different than just trying to get up as much weight as possible, more like a power lifting type mindset. So, uh, but going into it and wanting to just focus on time under tension because I really believe in that when it comes to building muscle, um, I want to say I started with Dumbbells, I did my, my Romanian deadlifts, and I think I started doing them with like 40s tops. So 40, so 80 pounds overall. And then squats, 135. Uh, so after doing that, I would just do my normal, you know, leg extensions, leg curls, all, all that stuff. But really thinking of those as like secondary exercises, uh, but really wanting to more exhaust myself and have most of my energy go into these squats and deadlifts. Um, as far as legs go, eventually I switched to where I was doing squats and lunges as my two main um, on my leg day on Monday, and then I would also hit legs again a little bit when I was doing back on Wednesday, and I'd do deads, and then I would finish it off with hamstring curls, and then do the rest of my back workout. So I would essentially hit legs twice a week, um, but first for the about, about the first four months, I want to say, I was doing squats and deads right away on Monday. So I was ready to start my week and I do the, in my opinion, two hardest lifts and get them out of the way. Um, and so basically my split was legs Monday, like I just said. Tuesday I would do chest and of course you're working your secondary, so your, your triceps and your shoulders, but I really just focus on chest and on Tuesday I'd focus more on doing flies instead of all pressing movements. So I would start with like a flat bench press or an incline, but then from there on out, I do a bunch of variations of flies. And then when Thursday or Friday came around, whichever one I choose, chose to do, um, I would then 
do more pressing movements, but then focus on arms more. So I would do um, like over the head press, uh, side lateral raise, and then really hit my triceps as well. But to be clear, for most of this year, since my arms were already pretty developed compared to everything else, even when I started getting back into it, I knew it didn't take too much to get them going at least. Um, I really only would do on arm day like six sets tops for like say biceps and six sets for triceps. So I wouldn't be in there for like two hours hitting my arms over and over again. So my main goal was to attack my weaknesses and kind of stay, you know, give give my arms some work in my shoulders, but I wouldn't kill them because I wanted all my energy to go into my weaknesses. So anyways, uh, after, after chest, Wednesday, I do back. And the main movements that I would do with back, I told you I'd do deadlifts that day, but also the two biggies for me have always been pull-ups, whether it's reverse grip or just overhand, and then same thing with rows. So just regular good old-fashioned barbell row, doing it, switching off uh, one day I would do overhand, and then the next day I'd do underhand. Um, it's, it sounds simple, but really, that's, I kept it simple, but I stayed consistent every single time. And every single time I would do one of the main lifts, I would always try to, you know, beat what I, what I did last. So even if that meant adding, you know, 2.5 pounds on each side, if I got it, great. If not, then I knew I would go for it the next workout. But it's all about just slowly increasing. And I got to be honest, even throughout the cut part of the, the year, which started in August, I kept moving up in strength. So um, I'm going to make a different video detailing diet because this one's kind of going on a little long, but this one at least will cover like the lifting aspect of it. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of some other questions. Uh, a lot of people wondering, you know, what I think about like how I made the progress that I did. Um, a lot of people mentioning muscle memory and stuff. Of course that factors in. People that have been following me for a while have seen what I've gotten to before. And although I feel my physique now is better than it ever has been, you know, it definitely factors in that I have been lifting a while and that I had previously been a pretty good size and had decent muscle mass, you know, your, your muscles don't just forget that. But I've always thought that the main thing that I notice that I do different than other people and specifically people that have, that I've lifted with or have gone to the same gym as me for a long time and they've just noticed that I kind of seem to like, you know, not, not exactly pass them up, but just seem to make gains while they're kind of staying a little more stagnant. The, the main thing that I notice just by eye test is noticing how I lift compared to them, not necessarily uh, what they're lifting, like some of the guys will be stronger, maybe weaker, whatever it may be, but I'm not really too focused on how much weight I'm pushing. I want to increase every time, but if I'm not doing it with perfect form and don't have that really intense mind-muscle connection where I feel like for instance, if I'm doing rows, I'm pulling with as much back as possible and trying to take my arms out of it. Uh, same thing with chest. You know, I just want to be working my chest. So say I'm doing 225, I can do 225 where it's maybe a little more momentum and yeah, okay, I'm repping it out and I, I just did 15, great. I'd rather fail at maybe, let's say, eight, but I'm doing it super slow and controlled and making sure that I'm just squeezing the hell out of my chest and what I'm doing is breaking down the muscle fibers as much as possible and I've noticed especially over this past year I've had the best chest development I've ever had just by focusing on that and it seems like such a small thing but I can get behind the bench and just be like alright I'm gonna lift this weight or I could really really focus and a lot of people have said well it looks like you don't really lift too intense or it's just kind of like a volume type workout it's not true at all it takes a lot of intensity to lift with time under tension technique because your muscles are constantly the whole time being forced to work you know there's no there's no breaks within that uh, set so to me that's as intense as it can get um, but anyways it, hopefully this kind of summed up at least the workout part for you guys, um, I did end up switching from six to seven days a week around 
around like the time I cut, I want to say like mid-July, like right before I started cutting, I noticed I started burning out a little bit. So I did switch to four to five days a week, but it still was uh, legs Monday, chest Tuesday, back Wednesday, and then from there I would usually just take Thursday off, Friday I would do arms, and then I would take the weekend off. Compared to before, I would maybe do that and then Saturday I would start over again, so I would just do legs and not have as much rest. Um, my personal opinion on that, if you can get away with working out more and you're recovering, you should. But as a natty, it's really hard to do that for a long period of time without feeling like burning out. So you got to listen to your body, you got to really be in tune with it and know the signs of when you're starting to overtrain and then cut back. And you'll notice that you'll start seeing those gains again. So anyways, I'll do another video regarding diet, but if you guys have any specific questions for me on just lifting that I didn't cover in this video, please let me know. Many avenues to reach me once again, uh, help for thought at Gmail. I'll leave my Facebook and Instagram uh, links in the description below, and I'll get to you guys as soon as possible with your questions, all right? Thanks, guys. Joe, see you next time. Help for thought. Peace. And that's some help for thought.